Hey guys, Killer6 here, and today I'm bringing you guys the easiest way to get pearlescent weapons and the new ancient E-Tech relics. To do this, you need to be on Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, and you need to get the Doctor's Orders quest from Tannis and Sanctuary. She'll give this to you once you've unlocked Wildlife Preserve, so make sure you go ahead and accept that as soon as possible. So then what you want to do is make your way through the Wildlife Preserve and take a team with you, hopefully, since Ultimate mode is no joke. Once you get past the area where you'd fight Timon and Pumbaa, or Pumon and Timbo, I forgot what their names are, god it sucks, there's the creature Slaughterdown. If you don't have this, then hook up with someone that does, maybe post in the comments below if you have this and you're willing to, to help somebody out, because once you go into their game, it will become available in your game. So, you know, you have to go to it, obviously. Um, once you go there and come back out to the wildlife preserve, you'll be in this area where I'm at, uh, in the video here, and you'll be able to continue from this spot over and over. This is the key to speeding up the whole process, because you won't have to fight as many, uh, as many enemies, obviously. So next what you have to do is fight your way through the stalkers and the bots in this next area, and then eventually the badass loader that'll pop out, and you'll have to continue through that area. And, uh, you know, a little bit of a spoiler here, so if you haven't played through the game uh, at least once, which I'm not sure why you'd be watching a video about Vault Hunter mode, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, and, uh, anyhow. So, mute your video here for a second if you don't want to hear the spoiler, but you'll have to continue through this area to the area where uh, you would find Bloodwing's uh, feathers. Now, do not go into that room because once you do it'll activate the uh, the thing on uh, story mode that will cause you to have to fight more enemies which is what's happening to us in this video we're having to fight lots more enemies than we normally would have to um, so that's just kind of a little piece of advice don't go into the blood ring blood wing room because then this whole thing will be a little bit easier now after you get through this area you're going to come to the room on the right where you have four cardboard boxes and when you open those four cardboard boxes there'll be a loot midget in each one so I suggest opening them one at a time because these are legendary loot midgets and they're even harder than the previous version of the loot midgets so take them on one at a time and I can almost guarantee you a ancient e-tech relic on every run I think uh, me and Mega and Dublin did like 10 runs or so last night and we ended up with a legendary deliverance I think it was level 56 from the red chest in the room and about 15 relics from the midgets but unfortunately I had to go to bed so I wasn't there when Mega found some pearls but he's now found I think three pearls legit from these midgets so that's it guys thanks for watching and if this was helpful or informative for you then please take a moment to leave a like and subscribe take care guys